glove story. It's a never-ending saga of palms protected and fingers saved. Ow. Hi there, I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief. This is where we talk about health and safety hazards in today's demanding industrial and construction work sites. Gloves are not one-size-fits-all. They need to be selected to protect against specific hazards in the workplace. For good hand safety, gloves will help prevent injuries such as cuts, punctures, and abrasions, of course, but also chemical burns, and some of those sneak up on you, like cement that can burn skin over time because of the high pH. Gloves can also protect from hot and cold temperatures and dermatitis, a skin condition caused by exposure to chemicals or other irritants. Glove options. Cut resistant. Leather, which protects against abrasions. Insulated for jobs that are cold or hot. Chemical resistant. Anti-vibration. These can help prevent nerve damage because of shaking power tools. A great website to help you choose gloves is choosehandsafety.org. Other things to think about when you're picking safety gloves Match the glove to the hazard. If more than one hazard exists, such as punctures and chemicals, try to eliminate one of the hazards in the workflow. It's possible to wear two gloves, but doing that decreases dexterity. Pick gloves designed for the severity of the hazard. Some chemicals can eat through certain glove materials quickly, so pick hefty, not wimpy. Always select the right size of glove. Once you pick a glove, Use it properly. Depending on the task, you may need to wash your hands before you put on the gloves. If you're handling chemicals, don't touch the outsides of the gloves with your fingers when removing them. Many gloves will need to be washed daily and stored in a dry place. Don't forget to care for your skin. For workers who use certain materials, such as cement, slightly acidic soaps can be helpful to maintain the skin's natural pH. Only use moisturizers on clean hands. Lotion on dirty hands only seals in the grit. That's it for this episode on safety gloves and skin protection. Come back for more tips and techniques on how to stay safety compliant in today's ever-changing landscape of safety requirements. I'm Dan Clark of The Safety Brief, sponsored by Creative Safety Supply. See the website at creativesafetysupply.com. 